Hey guys, Ramble here with another Dead Ops Arcade 3 video, where I'll be showing you the different locations where you'll be able to find the arcade cabinet to access the Silverback Slideways bonus area. I'll also quickly go over some of the benefits of unlocking this area, and then later on into the video, I'll be showing you pure gameplay of the three different map layouts that you could get while accessing this bonus area. Timestamps will be in the description below, let's get into it. So, there are five different spawn locations for the arcade machine in the wild that appears after round four. The first spawn location is by the very start of the wild, it'll be just below you. The second spawn location is by the locked door which usually contains a mech vehicle and flashlight, and this location will typically require a key in order to open it. However, with the December 15th update, there was actually a spring pad added inside the room, which allows you to exit the room without opening the door. So you might be asking, how do you get inside the room without a key then? Well, on co-op, simply have a teammate stand on this pressure plate and hop on this little platform that either contains a mech, tank, or key. Then have your teammate step off the pressure plate, which will bring you to the top. Once you're up here, you'll have to use a speed boost towards the locked room, but it needs to be pretty precise or else you'll miss it. So try standing and aiming where I am in this current video clip. Once you do that, it'll take you over into the locked room, you can access the goodies and arcade machine if it's there, and then just use a spring pad over here to jump out of the room. No keys required. On solo, it's a little trickier, as you'll have to use a speed boost on the pressure plate in order to access the platform, and if there's a key on the lift, it'll usually be difficult to sort of get your player on the lift, so usually you'll need either a mech or tank to spawn there in order to successfully do this trick on solo. But worst case scenario is a key spawns on the lift, and you just use that key to open the locked door, which isn't the biggest deal. Anyways, the third location is just after passing the first set of ground spikes. You'll see it immediately to your right. The fourth location is just past the abandoned temple room, whenever you open the locked door by these ground spikes. When you open the door, you'll notice the machine immediately to your left. The fifth and final location that not a lot of people know about is just past the first deadly dungeon. Just keep walking a bit above it, and it'll be hidden in this little top left corner area, covered by the trees. You'll usually only see it in first person mode, so if you're in top down view, just go next to the area and see if there's a button interact prompt. It's very helpful to enter the arcade machine in the wild, as entering it will actually make it to where you can access the bonus area later on into the match. In later rounds, an arcade machine will become an item pickup, which shocks a bunch of enemies in its radius, and once you grab this machine, it guarantees the Silverback Slideways challenge at the end of the round you picked it up, unless it's a teleporter round, in which case you'll have to play an additional round before getting the bonus area. The reason why this bonus area is so great is because it'll usually contain anywhere from 1-2 to two extra lives, 1-2 to two nukes, and sometimes even a key, depending on which of the three map layouts you're randomly generated. Each layout also has a bunch of coins and gems which of course increase your score multiplier, and I'd even recommend taking the time to shoot the zombie heads in the background, as it's a very good method to earn points. There's practically no downside to this challenge, as dying during it will only count as a death on your menu scoreboard, rather than taking one of your actual lives away from you in your HUD. Anyways, for the rest of the video, I'll be showing gameplay of the three different map layouts, just a little disclaimer, some of the gameplay is spliced together from different matches, since it's a bit difficult to explore the full area in the given time window without the Furious feet. And then also at the end of each layout, I'll include a brief text description which goes over all the goodies you could get in that specific layout. Anyways, thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to drop a like and enjoy this Silverback Slideways gameplay.
Bonus area! Silverback Slideways! Silverback Slideways! 